Okay. I'm having a bit of a personal crisis, okay? It's this personal crisis that I think every single human goes through in their entire lives at some point. I, I kind of don't think it matters where you live, whether you're, I, I think it's just on a different degree. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe I'm totally wrong. No, pretty much every book I've read, for like the human, it's the human thing. I'm having a hard time finding a space, a physical space to open, to do what I would like to do. And then you would come up to me and say, okay, wait, Kate, what do you want to do? And the I think where I'm coming into a problem is I want to do all of it and nothing at the same time. I know I'm good at something. And what I'm good at actually kind of is changing. And that's okay. I, I am okay with it changing. I miss teaching in a studio desperately. But I also, I don't know, I'm tired of being fake. I'm tired of always having to be on. And when you work for a studio, that's what the expectation is, is to always have this onness and I I don't think that's reality I'm not talking about being an asshole all the time like we're so concerned about of course, right? It's a, people making a for-profit company. Of course, you want to keep all your clients and all your customers happy. I mean, that's that's a given. That's that's put on the side, right? That, duh, right? You need to keep membership in order to stay open. Like, okay. But then, like, where's the human condition in there that allows... frailty and dignity and 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 the personal growth and work that each one of us as teachers as students has done there's a respect for that that i find is lacking in our industrial or corporate yoga settings that is that makes me weep that even just in the past eight nine ten years has become crushing and i am speaking as a student and a teacher, not just um, one or the other. The attachment of doing a good job or not doing a good job, the attachment of, oh, did I smile at this person? Did I not smile at this person? Oh, the, the, the attachment of, um, you know, if I'm crying on my mat, there must be something that someone else can do to fix it. Not that the mat is, the mat is 
not the fixer, but it's my, it's my stronghold. It's a thing that's never going to change. This mat is not judging me ever, ever. Uh, maybe what I'm describing is not, maybe what I'm describing is where people get to and they just do a morning practice by themselves at home at 5 a.m. Maybe what I have started to do is literally what is what the thing is. And I didn't know that. Maybe I've been missing the point the whole time. I desperately want to offer people a space that don't have this, you know, I, the, the amazing human that allows me to, you know, the money, the space, the, the time, the, all of that, Mark, is what I would like. Not everybody has the studio space, you know, to, to be able to do what I do. Um, and have it look like how I want to look, right? I mean, I get it. Like most of us have a floor and, a, you know, a TV screen or, um, you know, the, but I want, I would, I would love to be able to offer a community where, God, it's okay to be a, have a bitchy day. It's okay to, To walk in and and it know that maybe that's dreamland. It probably is. I think we'd all just have a lot less bitchier days than if we had a community that supported each other. I think that's. Like, one's going to have to start. Like, you can't just start in the middle, right? I think the community's got to build itself, and the the emotions and the connections and that sort of stuff, it gets to um, let itself build to where those really deeply yucky um, things are... are events in our lives are not going to control us to such an emotional where when I'm teaching the class, I'm having such a bad event that I'm going to end up teaching a bad class or an overly powerful class to where everyone's dying, right? Which some people really like, or where I'm taking class and I'm going to hurt myself or I'm not going to do anything at all, right? I just lay there. Um, if there are people surrounding you that know where you're at and are you are able to share that with them, then they will take some of your burden and then we find some equality. That is what my dream is. That is what my hope is. So if anybody's actually gotten through this like 12 minute, many minute video of me rambling on about what my wants and want nots are, um, you know, and you want to be part of something that, I mean, I'm so, <sighs> I know more about vocabulary to get a space, TI allowance, square footage, how to do the math, what this is, what this, this allowance, triple net, blah, 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 parking regulations, bathrooms, blah, 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 how big they are, seven by 10, if you need a shower, it all has to be compliant. I mean, I, I know so much stuff about all that now. Okay, been there, done that. <sighs> now it's got to be sent out into my community. This cannot be about me. It cannot. I have tried it that way. I have, I have. And then I pulled one other person in um, and she and I have been going at it, trying, and this is, man, this woman is amazing. She is a hustler. She can get shit done. 
And you know what? The universe is just not, not, um, it's not that the universe is not provided. It is not the time. So I am going to go one level deeper. And this is, um, I mean, if you like just PM me, right? Or call me. 972-658-3091, right? You can, my telephone number's all over the internet. Anybody can call me. I usually answer the phone too, if I can. Um, I've got several different entities going on right now. The, um, the, the COVID time gave me lots of time to, I mean, there's a nonprofit, there's a for-profit, um, we can we can do whatever we want. I I am one person and I I am good at a few things and I have been asking myself to be good at so many more things. I cannot do it anymore. If anything that I am talking about speaks to you and you want to do Anything that I am talking about, I am going to need not just help, because it's not about me. If we want to do anything about this, because otherwise I'm just going to keep doing the yoga and doing the things and I'll only show up to three or four people. And if that is what my job is and what my, what the, what my purpose is, is to, for you know, two or three people to see videos that I literally spend three hours a day trying to edit and, and do all that post-production stuff and the amount of energy and time I've put into the website, into this and this and this. If that reaches two or three people, then so be it. Then that is what I am supposed to do. Okay. I don't think so, but it, it, it I will be okay with that. But at some point, there will need to be an end to that because I I spent a ton of money getting to this point with all the equipment, with all this, with all that. Because I thought it was all going to go into a studio, and I was like, okay, to spend a thousand dollars here, you know, um, this amount setting this up, this amount, you know, and and now it's um, you know it's time to like reboot all that, and I. What do you want? What do you want? Sometimes, sometimes I don't know what I want. I do know that I miss humans. And I do know that there are people out there like me that have skill sets that are different than mine, that are ready to get to work, And none of us will make any real money money, but hopefully we can make enough to be able to make our car payments or maybe, I mean, I'm like so not in it for the money. I just want to be able to be taken care of. Okay. I do not need a diamond ring. I do not need a Mercedes Benz. I do not. I am not that person. I do not. I promise. Um, I do have a little bit of a rock addiction right now, but I think that'll curb here in a little bit. Um, meaning like stones, rocks. I don't smoke crack anymore. <sighs> um, okay, it's super long video. Okay, that's it.